We were dating for six years before I found out that she was cheating on me. And uh, and we dated for two years after that. <sighs> My first breakup. Man, it's worst breakup. Oh, worst breakup. Yeah, sorry, not first, worst. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> the worst breakup? She was the love of my life. We were dating for two weeks. I got really mad and I tried to push him out of the car on the freeway, but like my arms were too short. She would do this thing where she would fart and then blame it on the turtle. We used to make each other laugh a lot. Like I used to do this thing where I'd fart and then I'd blame it on our turtle. So I pulled over and I asked him to get out and lay down in front of the car so I could run him over. And I was like, yo, you need to stop acting crazy or this is over. We were in line for Space Mountain when he told me it was over. Did you eat Disneyland? No, why would we leave? Like, she'd always ask me how my day was. Crazy. I left in the middle of the night. I just packed up all my stuff. And then I was like, screw it. I packed up her stuff too. And then she'd tell me she missed me. Crazy. So the first time we broke up was the worst. But then it started to get a little easier. Then it got a little harder around breakup. 15 or 16. Then she showed up to my house with some cookies. You ain't my grandma. Go on crazy. But we're back together. For now. She wanted to take the turtle with her. So I suggested that we share the turtle. And she freaked out on me. He wanted to split the turtle. Like not share it. And then every other week, she'd take the body and I'd take the shell. They they wanted a what? The shell is literally part of the turtle. She wanted to take the whole turtle? It's just like child custody cases. I've watched it on TV. I'm not crazy. He wanted to take the shell while I took the little turtle body. Like, how sad is that? But it wasn't just the turtle. She would always just take and take and take until there was nothing left. You know, he did that kind of stuff all the time. Like, if Justin can't have something, then nobody else can. Some people make soup out of turtles. I'd come home from work in a good mood and then she would just dump all her problems on me and just bring me down. Yeah, f me for expecting my boyfriend to be there for me instead of acting like a little brat. I just wanted to come home and play Fortnite. It's already hard enough to floss in front of the TV when I'm already going through so much. I come home from a hard day at work. My boss yelled at me again and then you're hitting the wall or nay-naying or whipping or whatever the next Fortnite dance is. And f me for thinking that I'd be enough to make you happy. Well, you know what? You weren't enough and you never were enough. You'll never be enough and no one's ever gonna love you. Whoa. That felt incredible. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Having my pain exploited for your entertainment. Wow, you're probably loving this, huh? Like the more pain I feel, the more views your little video is gonna get. So wait, is this whole video just you guys asking personal questions to reopen old wounds? You are sick. You disgust me. Gross. Y'all are crazy. You're a bad person. What you're doing is exploitative and wrong. This is disgusting. I'm, I'm so done. I would leave right now if I had any self-respect. Then why'd you agree to do the video? Because I like attention. Duh. How does my hair look? Look, man, if you don't agree with what we're doing, you can leave. No, I, I definitely still want to be in the video. Okay. Wow, I can't believe that he cut that lizard's tail off. It was a turtle. Okay, I'm pretty sure turtles don't have tails. So if we want to get technical here, 